Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes Thunder Chief building action Hi to everybody I was sitting around drinking my coffee this morning I got to thinking man them guys are coming down off of Bobo Thon if I don't make them a video pretty quick they're going to be suffering from a post traumatic Bob TV withdrawal syndrome. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna make y'all some videos. How's that sound? Hey, guess what? It's gonna be an exciting week in this shop. We got some stuff going on. I'm getting ready to lay up. This is this is just a flat board that I need to lay up in glass. I'm gonna lay up a new front gear door. Remember that other one was all floppy and. Uh, a new can uh shoot door uh this week this is what i'm all i'm going to get done i'm going to get that hatch molded in the back i'm going to get my uh rudder my vertical stab halves laid up i won't be able to uh put them together till paul gets here at the end of the week oh yeah i said when paul gets here he's bringing us some parts baby He's got our elevator things done. He's got our other main gear done. He's got our nose gear almost done. Oh, Paul's smoking. And guess what? He's getting us some canopies pulled this week, too. So we're going to have a canopy. Okay, the only thing, scale RC flyer. Do you want us to wait till I get them canopies to ship off your canopy, or you just need that rim cut out? Um, I, can cut, I can send it off today if you need me to. Uh, let me know. If not, if you want to, well, you probably won't need the glass. That would just be for looking. I don't know. Yeah, because it might be the weekend. Let's go ahead and just chip off that canopy cut out. I got it all ready to go. It's sitting over there on the sander. Bam, I need to get that out today. Should have got it out Friday, didn't I? Kind of spaced it, and Saturday was New Year's. So I knew it was the day off. <laughs> I've been working too hard. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get some Thunder Chief filled back. And I am all out of rubber gloves. Okay. But what I got here, this is my nose gear door. I'm going to put a layer of carbon, a layer of 10 ounce, and a layer of foam. In this, then we're going to vacuum bag them down. So I want these. My last nose gear doors was real floppy, remember? Well, they ain't going to be floppy now. Plus, I want that inner door liner look that we get from the foam. I'm going to put them down a piece of carbon first. I'm going to put them down a piece of 10 ounce. Some of the resin off that brush. I'm just going to use it to make sure it's broke down. Got to go to Harbor Freight. As soon as I get these vacuumed down, I'm going to make a run. Go to Harbor Freight. Give me some rubber gloves. Come back to some Thunder Chief building action. Bring you out of that post traumatic Bob TV withdrawal syndrome. <laughs> you poor guys. All day yesterday, no new movies. Man, I kind of took the day off, but I did do something. I'll show you. I just kind of piddled on it though. I was just kind of piddling on it here and there, watching some football, and I ended up last night. Got it done? Okay. 
So I'm a 10 ounce on there. Now I'm going to put my 4 ounce on this piece here. It's just easier to do this piece separate. We want to get plenty of resin on the top of this so we have no delamination issues. But I'll make some videos putting this in the bag and everything. This bag is pretty simple. Ain't much to it. I like them big bags the best. Man, they're more simple. <laughs> With that deal I got, you know, them deals to clip off them in so I don't you need no clay, you know. They were cool. That's actually a wing bag kit is what them came in you know like for vacuum bagging a fully built wing I know the guys that were building them racers we would put big time glass on the on the two you know when we join the wings put them in them bags and vacuum them down even though it was just the center section you know Okay, bam, that's done. Now what we're gonna do is just let that sit there for a minute. New chute door. Gotta have a real firm chute door. And let's put the carbon down first. And then let's put some tan out. Hit my dang scrap file for this carbon. You know. But they'll be they'll be really firm now. Set that aside. Now this board we still running. Yeah, minute twenty seconds. Left. This board is just uh, two layers of ten ounce and a layer of four. Okay, this don't need no carbon. We don't need no carbon on this stuff. This is just uh, for some flat glass panels. Free prime, no pinholes. This is just that uh, malamine board, you know. It. 
Yeah, I don't like the way my servo covers came out. 